Right about now, man. And we got some more popping. We bring exactly what you're wanting more often. The whole team's feeding to watch your jaw drop. This is World TV, and we got you all watching. What's my record now? I gotta look on Sherlock. I don't know. I just look at the paychecks. I don't look at the records right now. So I got a few wins, a few losses, and I don't know. I'll look and I'll Google it and I'll tell you. I don't look at the rankings anymore. What I look at is, you know, there's a guy in front of me and uh, I got to beat him up. I mean, coming up was a fight for me because I had about three fights before I went into Pride and. You know, for me, it's been going from low-level fights to really high-level fights in, you know, pretty much overnight. So it was, it was fun, it was interesting, and, uh, you know, I enjoyed it. I mean, I had a manager, I was part, I'm part of Team Quest, and, you know, my manager out there had a chance to introduce me to some, you know, the Pride promoter, and then he liked me and then gave me an opponent, and that's how he started. It was awesome, you know. I beat a guy who was pretty, you know, high level that nobody expected me to beat, and I trained hard for it, so it paid off, and you know, it was a good reward. The difference, I think, is the, the way to put the show together. It's not a, it's less business-like. It's more, you know, it's a party. You go there, it is, you know, all the commotion, all the fire, all the. You know, the atmosphere, all, everything is pretty much different because it's more about, I've always been a fan of the Japanese culture and, you know, for me it was more, you know, a party pretty much more than going to a fight. I mean, it was really an exit, pride went out of business and was sad, you know. I've always, when I started fighting, I've always dreamed about fighting for pride and going to Japan and when they went out of business, it was a little sad, it was kind of disappointing, but, you know, I had to keep fighting. I got to a point where, you know, there was a lot of offers and then, you know, I spent about eight months trying to deal with them and at the end I said, hey, you know what, the UFC is local, you know, let, let me, you know, go to the UFC and, you know, get some fights out there. I mean, I think that's when I, I took myself a little too serious. I, uh, I kind of fell under pressure and I didn't perform as, as well as I wanted and I was supposed to. So a lot of pressure and, you know, trying to do things I'm not, I wasn't comfortable doing and, you know, didn't go my way. The second match, um, I was a, a second match I came in, I did, I, I I put the game plan together and I got a win on that match and it was, it was fun, it was in Vegas and it was kind of rewarding to get a win after going through a loss. Final fight, uh, I think I was overconfident, I came in, I did too much in the first round and then the second round, I got tired. I went in with a, with a game plan because uh, I saw a few fights and I knew he he will come out aggressive and he's, he's, well, he's really good on the ground and I knew his goal was going to be to take me down and try to submit me. So going in there, I knew how to punch him to death and then keep him on my feet. And if he were to go to the ground, I would just make sure I end up on top, which, you know, happened. Tell the truth, I'm not sure because uh, when I got the fight, I was actually in London. <laughs> So I just got a fax and I had to sign a few papers and send them back. So I haven't actually talked to the Shark promoters myself. I just read the contract, signed it, and sent them back so far. I've been all over the place. It was UFC, it was Affliction, it was uh, Strike Force, and it's just a matter of, you know, I have the chance ever since I left the UFC to fight whenever and wherever I want, which is pretty much what I like to do. I like to stay busy and get some fights. So after my Impact FC fight, I, get, I got a call t saying they want me to fight for, um, you know, a shark. And I said, hey, you know, they're paying good money. Yeah, sure, I'll fight. And that's, that's all I needed to know. He'll come out trying to swing for the fans, and uh, he's really good at 
punching, as moving back, because that's how he won his first UFC fight. And he's got some good leg kicks. And I know the ground. I'm pretty confident with my ground work with him. I know I'm dead on the ground. So I'm not going to be afraid to stand. I'm not going to be afraid to get on the clinch. And I'm not going to be afraid to go to the ground. So it will be a good fight. Flawless victory.